Hey everyone, Mr. MCA here. This is a lap guide for the new lap time challenge taking place at Watkins Glen Long Course with any group 4 car. For this video, I'll be using the Nissan Silvia Touring Car. So to access this lap time challenge, going over to Sport Mode, so make sure you have menu book number 9 completed. Going over to the online time trial and select the time trial that is currently on the left. So this is a two week event ending at the end of June 28, 2023. You can use any group four car and this is with a mid speed BOP and we're only on the racing hard tires. And your goal is to get within 3% of the world record time when the event ends as that is when your time gets counted. Here are my in game tags in case you want to see my replay. And I'll also leave a link to the replay in the description down below. But right now, we do have a couple of cars that are working well for this laptop challenge. So we have the Nissan Silvia, the Ferrari 458, the Jaguar F-Type, and the McLaren 650S. So there are a couple cars that are working well for this laptop challenge. So we do have a bit of variety, which is pretty nice. So I'm going to be in the Nissan Silvia as I'm used to driving this car. So went ahead and picked this car. But... Let's go ahead and get started with the lap guys. So bring us up towards the left side of the track and your first breaking point is before you reach the 200 feet board. So you're breaking at around the 250 feet range, full braking power and make your way down to third gear. You're using the final banner that is on the left as your turning point. Now you want to do a bit of trail braking. So easing off of the brakes as you're turning in. But as you're approaching the apex, this is where you let the car coast for a brief moment. So no braking, no throttle input, the car will turn in a bit more. That way you can get the car pointing where you want it to go and then get on the throttle as soon as you can. For the S's, you can easily take it flat out. You just want to try to turn in as gently as possible to not risk scrubbing off any speed. Then bring us up towards the left side of the track and your next breaking point is the 300 feet board which is a bit before the Marshall stand that is on the left. So brake just as you push that board, full braking power for a very short moment and start to turn in almost right away. Go down to fourth gear, carefully approach this first curb as this curb can unsettle the car. Take advantage of the curves as they are still within track limits. Doing lots of braking and throttle control to try to go through the chicane or the bus stop in as straight of a line as possible. And here I'm going to take a narrow line into the outer loop. So I'm going to brake just as a curb on the right starts. So around half of your braking power for a very brief moment, just trying to stay towards the right side of the track. Look for this path on the right as that is your cue to get on the throttle. You might need to do a little throttle control to make sure that you don't go way too wide out of the track. Then bring us up towards the right. You're braking before the 200 feet board. Full braking power for a short moment. And start to turn in just as you're about to push the 100 feet board. Gonna go down to third gear. Just slowly easing off the brakes as you're turning in. So doing a bit of trail braking. Let the car coast for a very brief moment so it can turn in a bit more. And then get on the throttle. You do want to be a bit brave getting on the throttle as you go through the boot, which is where we're at right now. Then brake just as you pass the 200 feet board that is on the left. Full braking power. Then turn in just as you pass the 100 feet board that is on the left. Ease off the brakes as you're turning in, going down to third gear. Let the car coast for a bit so it can turn in a bit more. And as soon as you're pointing towards the field, that's where you can start to get on the throttle. So for that turn, which is known as a toe, that's where you want to try to go for a late apex. Now for the heel, you're going to brake just as you pass the 200 feet board that is on the left. Full braking power going on to third gear and you can use this 100 feet board that is on the left as your turning point. Ease off of the brakes as you're turning in, clipping the curb that is on the right as that is your apex and get on the throttle as soon as you can. You do need to be a little brave over here. Then bring us up towards the right and brake before the 100 feet board that is on the right. Gonna use 75% braking power for a short moment, going on to third gear and just be patient getting on the throttle as it's really easy to be impatient getting on the throttle and end up hitting the barriers. 
stay on the right as you're using the 200 feet port that is on the right as your turning point. You will need to ease off of throttle as you're turning in, maybe even tap a little bit on the brakes to make sure that you don't go way too wide out of the curves. The curves are part of the track limits by the way. Bring us up towards the left and your final braking point is just as the grass on the right is about to start. You will turn in almost right away, use 50% braking power and you can briefly go down to third gear for more rotation but exit on fourth gear. Make use of the curb that is on the left, but make sure you don't hit the barriers. Now let's go through all this, but this time I will not stop the video. Alright, so here we are getting ready to start the new lap. For turn number one, I'm going to break at around the 250 feet mark. So before the 200 feet board, break hard for a short while, go down to 30 gear for more rotation. Let the car turn in a bit more, so letting the car coast for a moment get the car pointing where I want to go and then get on the throttle. The S's can easily be taken out. Just try to be nice and gentle going through the S's using minimal steering input. Go ahead and go towards the left side of the track. Gonna break before the 300 feet board and just try to be really careful entering the bus of chicane. Just don't go into it way too fast as that will unsettle the car. So, you know, the saying slow in fast out then stay towards the right side of the track. Gonna be careful getting under throttle to make sure that we don't go way too wide out of the track. Brake before the 200 feet board, stay towards the left side of the track. Go down to third gear and get under throttle as soon as possible. Be confident getting under throttle, then go towards the left, break at around the 200 feet board. Then the car coast for a while so the car can turn in a bit more. Then get under throttle as soon as you're pointing towards the field. Look for the 200 feet board as that is the next breaking point. So the 200 feet board that is on the left. Go down to 30 gear for more rotation. Get under throttle as soon as possible. But go ahead and go towards the right side of the track because you're breaking before the 100 feet board. Just be nice and patient getting under throttle. Really easy to get under throttle too early and hit the barriers. Look for the 200 feet board, ease off our throttle and turn in. Use a little bit of braking if needed, then brake before the grass on the right starts. Go down to third gear for more rotation, but exit fourth gear and get on the throttle as soon as possible. And that is it for this lap guide, getting a 153.969. Nice. But that is all for this lap guide. So if you like this video, you can press the like subscribe and all that good stuff. I have a membership program thing that you can check out if you want to further support this channel and that's going to be it for me. So thanks for the support lately. This is Mr. MCA and I'll see you in the next video.